Hello everyone, this is Bertina Amy here and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. And otherwise, welcome back to my channel. I hope you find these videos useful. So at the Dollar Tree, I saw this Valentine's Day wreath for $5 in the plus section. And I really like that the wreath form itself is made with grapevine, but I'm not really impressed with the red florals and the leaves that are attached to it. So I thought maybe I should do a DIY Dollar Tree Valentine's Day wreath makeover. So I go ahead and pick up some florals from the floral section in the Valentine's Day aisle and I decided to also go with colors besides red and I absolutely love purple and I thought the pinks that I picked out would go really well as well and I really like lavender too so I decided to make those my colors and I decided to also grab some items from the Valentine's Day section as sort of embellishments to my wreath as well. So the first thing I do is I go ahead and take off the florals off their stems as well as the florals off of the wreath and I decided to try to play around with it and see if I can possibly use some of the original florals in it but I just was not liking the combination of the red roses along with the florals that I picked out and the color shades that they're in. So I go ahead and take off all of the red roses and then I start to play around with my floral arrangements also realizing that I'm not a big fan of most of the faux leaves that are on this wreath as well. So I go ahead and remove those too. And in their place, I go ahead and add in more florals just to kind of make this wreath look fuller in this little section. And by the way, I'm not someone that considers myself to be an expert floral arrangement artist or whatever you call them. And I just know what I like. I just try to play around and see what arrangement I do like. And if you yourself feel the same way, regardless of your DIY crafting experience, you can dive right into something like this as well very easily. There's not a lot of effort that comes into it and it's a very affordable project. This whole project with all the pieces I used cost me less than $10 to put together. You are not gonna find any wreaths any place else outside of Dollar Tree they're gonna cost you that low, even all put together. So something like this I imagine would probably cost somewhere around 20, 25 bucks anywhere else. I'll be honest, I wasn't really sure how well this makeover project was going to turn out because I generally just go ahead and dive into making one completely from scratch using the basic wire wreath form as well as a lot of tulle and ribbon and then adding the florals on there. If you'd like to see me do a DIY Valentine's Day wreath in that style like I've done in my previous wreath projects, let me know in the comments below, but most likely it's going to have to wait until the following year's Valentine's Day simply because I have everything planned out through the end of March basically. Interestingly enough, as I'm editing this video, I realize I probably should have arranged it just a little bit more differently, but it would have seemed too obvious the pattern I was going with, I think, so I'm actually fine the way this turned out. I wasn't expecting this project to turn out perfect anyways, and I knew I was going to make up for anything that kind of in a way bothered me as far as it was originally arranged. I was going to fix that anyway with the other embellishments in place anyhow. I do end up spending quite a bit of time trying to figure out the arrangement I did like best before going ahead and gluing down all the florals into place. So to help break up the purples, pinks, and lavenders, I decide to bring back in the white, I think they're called baby's breath. Let me know if you know for sure what it's called in the comments below, but I decided to use that to help break up some of the pinks and purples and whatnot just to give it some added beauty. I'm also a big fan of the color fuchsia. I think it's really gorgeous, and I think that will just enhance the floral arrangement on this DIY Valentine's Day makeover wreath. When I saw these fuchsia colored hearts in metallic, in glitter, and this other one's kind of almost like a pearl metallic fuchsia, I just had to get this pack of six because I knew I would like to use them to embellish the project as well as my future upcoming DIY Valentine's Day centerpiece. I want them to match each other, so I go ahead and buy the pack and I remove the string because it's really flimsy thin, and I go ahead and leave it as is looking like an ornament. I really don't mind it, and I really don't want to have to cut off the pieces, make them sharp, etc., etc. I really don't mind the 
look of the ornament within my project, but I go ahead and place them where I see fit where I think it'll look good. And once I like the arrangement, I go ahead and glue those down. If you have a Cricut or even white colored tiny little letters stickers, you can actually turn these little hearts into conversation hearts. Or in this last piece that I glue in that is a white sparkling heart, you can add black tiny letters onto the heart to make it a conversation heart as well, or just make the white one the conversation heart. I don't own a Cricut, nor do I have any of those types of stickers, so I'm leaving mine as is, but I do think it would be a really cute idea to add to the project. I think this looks good just as it is. And here is the final result. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I really like the way that this turned out. And I apparently forgot to cut off this tag, which I go ahead and do off camera. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.